morning everyone. I'm at a place called Two Guns and there's some old ruins here of a, uh, I think it was a bit of a zoo. Oh, there's a couple of other people here, that's all right. It's in the middle of nowhere. So I think these must have been the pens and they're so small, it must have been terrible for the animals. Oh, there's one there. It's a bit windy and I ain't got me muffler in. <laughs> Look how small these little pens are. There's sort of stone structures everywhere, like ruins. And what a great name for a town, two guns. <laughs> I've got to walk the old bridge in two guns, Arizona. There's a quite a good structure over there. I'm going to have a little look in there. It don't look in a very good state of repair. Oh, that's a shame, it's all, uh... oh well, there's a gap in the fence. Should I do this? Am I being naughty under the barbed wire? <laughs> yeah, I've, I've broke in. <laughs> Shouldn't be in here really. Wow, wonder what this was. There's loads more over there in the distance, but I'm gonna get back on the road. Two guns, Arizona. Tell you what, there's some big old cracks in this bridge. <laughs> it feels like it could go any minute. Look, the whole lot is cracked all the way along. <laughs> I'm starting to walk a bit quicker. So a few miles up the road from Two Guns is this place. It's all abandoned now. It's an old trading post called uh, Twin Arrows and it's quite famous on Route 66 and there was t two arrows here these are massive they're probably I don't know 30 foot long but unfortunately one of them's uh, disappeared I knew it had been uh, broken down recently but it's gone hopefully they're gonna uh, you know redo them and put them back because it's quite iconic Twin Arrows So just up the road from the uh, old Twin Arrows ruins is the Twin Arrows Casino. I thought I'd have a little 50 in here or something, not much. It is early, it's only like half nine in the morning. But uh, it's just, I just wanted to have a look really. It's a Navajo Casino and I know they're really strict so <laughs> I could well be getting thrown out if they see me filming. Well, it looks quite fancy. Let's find a slot machine. Security is already looking at me, and <laughs> this might not last long. Really, quite nice in here, it is. Pretty big and all. Right, see if I can win me petrol money for the day. Right, I've stuck 50 in coin combo, carnival cow. The security are watching me. I don't think these Navarro casinos like you having a good time. Uh, I'm going to try and double it, then I'm out of here. Gonna go. 176 of spin. Wish me luck. Well, I haven't been arrested just yet. <laughs> Come on, pop it. Ah. No, nothing. <laughs> right, two popped. I think this is the first game. Come on up. Come on, anything. <laughs> Surely there's three of something here. Yeah? Ah, what's that? Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, no. what, what, what's happened? What's happened? All oh, right, all the jackpots are just coming up. Okay. <laughs> okay, we got one. Wow, well, I think it's 45, isn't it? Yeah, 45 minor. Brilliant. And then I think there's uh, we've got another. Hang on, let's stop that. Hang on, I'll come back when we can move on. Right, yeah, so this is the second uh, bonus game. Uh, touch the start, okay. Oh yeah, I remember this one. Sort of. <laughs> the green collects them all, that's it, yeah, yeah. Brilliant, every time you get a green, they all go on the top there and you collect them all. 
Oh, <laughs> well, that's good. I might come out of here a winner. Right, we need a couple more greens. Hang on. Right, backed up, back up the three games. Greens is what we want. Come on, Nisa. Yes. Excellent. Ooh. Back up the three games. <laughs> I must admit, I do love being in the casino. Whoa! Hello! Three! Do you get it three times, you reckon? I wonder if you get it three times. Hang on. Yeah, you get it three times. Brilliant. Wow. I think I've doubled in here. <laughs> and I haven't been trying. Hold on, I've got it again. I'm trying to press the button. Brilliant. This is a lovely bonus. On a 176 bet, this is. Right, another green now would be amazing. Come on, give us another green. <laughs> Come on, son. Yes, excellent. Blinding, this is. We're about to come in here now. They do seem a bit miserable, though, these <laughs> Navajo casinos. Like when you smile and they just sort of stare at you with the ump. You know, but, you know, I don't know. Come on, one more. Need something to drop. Another green would be lovely. Right, last press. Come on, green. Green, green, green. Ah, okay. Brilliant. So that and the uh, 45 as well, isn't it? Right, let's press the button. 121 win. I'm cashing in. I had a couple more spins, got it up to 128, taking that, back on 66. Well, hey, Ferraris, I think they're having a race. Looks a bit stormy up ahead, heading towards Flagstaff. So even though I've been uh, on the freeway a bit, that is the actual way that the uh, app's directing me because some parts, the freeway goes right over the top of the old Route 66. But now I've turned off and I'm back on the old historic road. And uh, there's a bit of rain in the air, but the mountains in the distance are spectacular. Beautiful it is. This little stretch is lovely. It's a beautiful drive. Still heading towards Flagstaff. Sun's coming out as well. Just on the uh, outskirts of Flagstaff, I'm gonna try this place. Eat and run on Route 66. Looks quite good. Get a bit of breakfast. <laughs> well, I'm not quite sure what I ordered here. It's called the Arizona Breakfast Bowl. Roast potatoes, chorizo, meat in there, cheese, sour cream on top. It's all going on. Gonna get stuck in. Absolutely delicious. There's all egg in there. It's chopped up sausage. Gonna enjoy this. Just uh, come into the old centre of uh, Flagstaff. I thought I'd just have a quick look around, see what it's like. Looks quite a nice place. The temperature's dropped though. I don't know if we're up high here, I think we are. Because I can still see that beautiful mountain behind me, but uh, yeah, it's pretty chilly. Some nice old buildings. And I did actually look at staying in that hotel there, the Hotel Monte Vista. But as it's Saturday today, everything's so expensive, but I'm quite pleased, really. I'm, I'm going to move on from Flagstaff. It looks a cool town, but uh, I'd rather get into a more of a 66 town. They've got a few nice bits of uh, old neon in uh, Flagstaff. Bet it looks pretty at night. <laughs> of course I did. That's my memory from Flagstaff. 
It is physically impossible for me to pass this shop and not buy one of these toffee apples. I'm going in. <laughs> oh, this is amazing. <laughs> I'm definitely going to get one of them um, toffee apples though. They're over there. But it's a really cool old building. I don't know what it was, but it's uh, very, very old, I can tell. Just slabs of goodness. <laughs> I couldn't help myself. I did buy some grapes this morning, thinking I was going to try and have a healthy day. <laughs> but how can I walk past that? Have a look. Oh, my days. Delicious. Look, there's the first sign for Los Angeles. 487 miles. Pretty stunning drive out of Flagstaff. I'm heading to a place called Williams. So I'm driving along the old historic Route 66, which is this. Beautiful it is, all through like pine forests and stuff. And I've come across this little place. It's called Parks in the Pines. It's a Little Route 66, Delhi. I'm gonna go in and have a look. Looks fantastic. Parks in the Pines, since 1906, general store on historic Route 66, elevation 7,051 feet. 1906. Oh, hi. Wow, this is cool. <laughs> it's a proper little general store, how yeah, cool. Ah, really lovely people in there. I was having a chat with them. I would have definitely stopped and had a sandwich in the deli, uh, but I've obviously already eaten. But uh, I did buy a couple of bits. I bought some orange cream soda and a Route 66 knife in case I come across any bears and I have to defend myself. <laughs> Well, I didn't see no bears, <laughs> but I've heard there's a few in here. Bearsonia. I'm going to give it a try. I think it's like a drive-through zoo. Oh, look, reindeer. Happy Christmas, everyone. <laughs> yeah, so it's like a sort of safari park we'd have back in England. Um, you just drive through really slow. And this one's uh, just on Route 66. So I had to come in and do it. Right, what are we going to see next? Right, we're entering the tundra. The wolves. Windows up. Stay in vehicle. <laughs> That's my hotel for tonight. <laughs> All right, Arctic wolves in this one. They're actually crossing the road. <laughs> Brilliant. Wish this car would get out of the way. Man, they're surrounding me. I better get my knife out. Beautiful creatures. Entering the bear bit. Wow, there's loads of through here. Have a look. Right, oh, he's a big old lump, that one. <laughs> He's had too many cakes like me. Oh, even though I love seeing them, I'm thinking they should be in the wild, really. But I suppose they've got plenty of space out here. I'm not going to do it, but I wonder what would happen if you got out of the vehicle. <laughs> what do you reckon? Nah, I'm not going to do it. They are beautiful creatures though. Right, this bit we're looking for white bison. Aggressive and do not pet, it said. Reminds me of an old girlfriend. <laughs> so these are American bison. Buffalo!
he's crossing the road up there. <laughs> ah, bless him. Aren't they lovely? I might get out and stroke you. <laughs> that is a raccoon. Weird little creature, isn't it? So they are grizzly bears. That is a bobcat. Beautiful. Happy Christmas. So this is Williams, Arizona. It's where I'm staying tonight. You're never too far away from the railroad in this part of the world. Uh, I'm just gonna go and have a look in this little um, museum on 66. Then I'm gonna find the motel. Pretty cool, it's in an old gas station. I'm gonna have a quick look inside. Wow, some of these old gas pumps are so beautiful. Like works of art they are. I think they're all like the tops of them. <laughs> what do you reckon? <laughs> Bit leery. You imagine wearing that up the pub. <laughs> I've got to get it, and I? So my motel in Williams is this one, the Western Motel. <laughs> and it's pretty basic, but it's got a bit of Route 66 charm. To be honest, I looked on like all the booking.coms and hotels.coms yesterday, and the rooms were so expensive in this town because it's Saturday night, like $200 for a basic motel room and stuff like that. So I spotted this one, <laughs> and it was a single little room. I'm gonna show you, a single little room, and uh, I thought that'd do for one night, and this is it, 108. <laughs> it's a dinky little room, pretty basic. Welcome to my room. So you've got a double bed, air conditioning, fridge freezer, little telly, <laughs> lamp, there ain't much to it. Uh, to be honest, when I read the reviews on these single rooms, this is counted as a single room. Loads of people saying, oh, it's tiny, it's tiny. You know, it is small, but for one night, I can live with this, definitely. As long as it's safe and as long as that bed's clean, <laughs> that's all that matters. Well, I'll take you through to the bathroom. The bathroom's surprisingly big. Walk-in shower. Sink and toilet. And that is it. And that costs me, with all the taxes and surcharges and everything else, hang on, let's put you on the wider angle. Um, with all the taxes, surcharges and everything else, it was uh, $99, which is quite expensive for this. But like I say, this is the cheapest room in Williams. it to do me for the night. And you can walk to all the restaurants from here. Right, I've checked the bed, it looks pretty clean, but that made me laugh. Look, when you have the air conditioning on, it blows the curtain open. And uh, another thing down here, look, the mattress doesn't quite meet the end of the bed frame. <laughs> Other than that, though, pray for me. <laughs> I can't stop laughing at that fan. I'll tell you what, they're not thrown out to me. Like a fucking soul in here. I'll give it its due though, I'm, I've checked all the bed, it all looks spotlessly clean. And I know it's all like old bashed up furniture, but it's, everything's clean. <laughs> I'm trying to find positive. Look, it's all shiny. They've even folded that into a little triangle, that, that's got to be a good sign. Yeah, you know, can't see no mouse drobbings. <laughs> yeah. Saturday night and the bright lights of Williams. <laughs> it's bloody cold. I've got my shorts on, but I've got a hoodie on and I'm uh, 
Yeah, a bit chilly it is. It looks like quite a cool little town this. And everything's sort of almost walkable. That's the world's largest steel Route 66 sign here in Williams. Looking here with a word of wisdom for your future. Looks like quite a cool little place. I think I'm going to try this one if I can get a table. Cruiser's Caf. It's busy, Saturday night, they couldn't get a table for me, so I'm at the bar. Got the menu, gonna get something to eat. It's a very cool restaurant, massive it is. I'll take you right through and show you. So much good memorabilia in here, like all the old gas pumps. They've got all the old uh, arcade games there. Another section through there. Might have to have a go on the old uh, arcade games. And then of course, a gift shop at the end. Oh, they've got the old tabletop Pac-Man and Space Invaders. I used to love that back in the day. So I went for the half rack of ribs. Looks delicious. And you get cornbread, coleslaw, and a couple of other oh, beans as well with it. The fella behind the bar was just saying they've got a smokehouse out the back. They are delicious. They are so meaty. I'm loving this. That was delicious. I am stuffed. Just having a nice stroll down Main Street in Williams. And uh, yeah, going to call it a day. Hope you've enjoyed watching today. <laughs> that place with all the bears and stuff was good. I enjoyed that. And uh, yeah, it was good to go in the casino. I'm looking forward to Vegas. It's a few days away yet though. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm doing shorter little trips the next few days. Yeah, shorter little trips the next few days. I'm just, I've decided because the driving is what knackers you out. So tomorrow I'm only going about 40 miles. So it might be a short vlog, but... Uh, yeah, I just need to slow it down a bit and relax. I forget where I was now. I've lost my train of thought. Uh, right, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed today. I love in the comments still. I'm just a bit slow, but I will answer every one of you. I really love reading them. So keep writing them. Uh, and yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Route 66 is quite tiring, but... Uh, it's brilliant, this is memories that are going to last forever, this is. Look, what a perfect way to end it. Historic Route 66. Good night and God bless you all.